and here we have Seafield Lodge where most of this area is named after can't really see much this is that, are those cedar trees those things I'm not sure and the walk continues folks as we come down to this massive house here now this was owned by Tom Doherty we used to be friends with them we used to have been there before uh, used to know the, the girl uh, Tom Doherty he was the owner of timber build or interbuild uh, one of these kind of uh, the framed houses and stuff you know so he lives in there Mount Rosa now Mount Rosa I remember right oh now why didn't I write something about that, that oh I can't remember what Mount Rosa is all about now but again um, steeped in history as is this one here the pines look at this fantastic entranceway to a house look at that. the pines so I didn't do any more research on these places but I remember reading something about them but I thought oh, I'll never remember it so um, anyway now this house I think I used to take a shortcut here uh, to go and I used to walk up and go and pick up my mate Morris Meakin um, he was a, he's now a great artist he lives in Portugal as well funny enough no Sweden sorry he lives in now so if you're watching this Morris hello there yes I still live here even though you've gone on to better things and there used to be a lady lived here and every morning she'd be staring at the flowers so bro and I used to call her the starer. Yeah, this, there's the shortcut I used to take. I used to run along there, nip over a couple of garden fences and into Morris's house. Um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> and coming to view is our house right at the very bottom there. That's our house. Seafood Road. Now, this is Davidson Street. Now, Davidson Street is named after the famous actor who played Doctor Who from 1980. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's named after Peter Davidson, funnily enough, who had a fish business. Yeah, he was a fish curer, and uh, this is named after him. This is the back of the, the grove, and up here now we have what used to be the Ballinard Hotel. Just up here now, this is just Ballinard Gardens. Um, the hotel's long gone, but it used to be very spooky up here. Um, it was like the house out of Psycho. I'll put a photograph of it on for you. There you go. Yeah, it used to look like Psycho. Um, but it's now just all demolished and just residential houses up here now. So it's all fenced off. So I don't want to go nosing in there. Um, but I remember this was one of the first places we came into Brotty Ferry uh, when we first arrived here because Dad used to uh, stay up in the Ballinard Hotel before we got a house here. So there you go. Now, before Ballinard became a hotel, I think it must have come in a hotel about the 70s, it used to be a a family home for a couple of folk but the, the last guy to live there was John Watson who was a whiskey entrepreneur another one of these whiskey flax jute baron kind of people so uh, but the place it's the tales are full of death and disease his wife died of tuberculosis and brain hemorrhages and his sons all died of exotic I don't know man it's just a, the whole place is steeped with um, kind of tales of woe and death and this is the back entrance to Mount Rosa. Oh it's now no entry down here. Now this is the place where Bro and I used to uh, skateboard down here. <laughs> Yay! Indeed with our fearless Betty brother behaviour this is where we must have got our spiz attitude from as we would come hurtling down here. I think we used to do a turtle on the skateboards where you would have to sit on one and put your legs onto the other one and the other person did the same thing and we would come down here but it would inevitably end up in tears as our uh, as our skateboards would career into the sides and the curbs here and uh, scrape our bottoms and all it was a painful thing being a child in them days I tell you and stanley road yes stanley road named after stanley mansion away at the back there don't really have much to do with stanley road actually to tell you the truth it was considered no go area for some reason now behind me here this is the grove it's all expanded since uh, since our lad but uh, the lands they used to belong to um, a chap whose name I've forgotten hang on well I appear to have uh, not written his name down so this this is all land here this is owned by one chap and he bequeathed all the grounds to um, to the Grove Academy and there you go look at it all now though eh? crikey I mean I just used to be uh, 
a little car park there and oh, it's all changed but here we have the main event of this walk for me anyway there it is folks that's the Betty residence for Seafield Road that's where we grew up um, there's a, an attic room at the top there that used to be my little bedroom come studio thing where I learnt my my trade uh, that used to be an old uh, home for people uh, school kids and things and homeless people as you can see there's still like a a door in the wall here there you go look at that that was mum and dad's bedroom up there that's the kitchen um, I remember once we were playing football we used to play Kirby here and football uh, I remember once we broke broke mum and dad's bedroom window so we weren't too happy there's this this used to be green along here um, my bedroom was the middle one that's my my bedroom up there bros was that one there he had the big one there he lived there till he was about 37 and the further away one was was Gillian's yeah so as you can see we just had a a little stroll over the road and we were in school before we knew it so there you go one last look at the Betty residence from 1975 to what when did they move away now 1991 or something they moved out around about then so that was a very happy family home there for us it was very big inside it's all been done up now it's gorgeous inside now but uh, in those days you know it was just a lovely family home many happy memories there I must say so there you go that's where bro and I used to hang about yes the stroll continues now we're in Camperdown Street named after the Battle of Camperdown of 1797 where the Dutch fleet and the I think it was the Dutch fleet anyway were routed and all sorts of stuff happened Admiral Duncan he was the man so there you go I've been along here for ages remember our headmaster Mr oh what's his name no, he used to stay there so our headmaster <laughs> He had a, a short trip to school as well. Now, here we come up to Harley Street where there was a scene of civil disobedience. Uh, Louis Harley, this street's named after, he had a florist in this kind of area. I said he was a seedsman or something. Um, but the, the people in the surrounding area complained and took him to court because of the smell of his manure. Um, I'm not sure what the outcome was. But they did complain and I must say my new boots are particularly comfortable I must say they're wonderful best 50 quid I've ever spent I think they are really really comfy right we're coming to the end of this stroll uh, we're coming back on the, to Fort Hill Road and that's basically it folks it's now about 10 o'clock in the morning I think it's very early for me so uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this installment off the Brotty Ferry Walk and my next one I think will be uh, just want to say hello to Kenneth Roger who I've been following he's been following me he wants me to go to Balgy Hill and the surrounding area because he used to play there as a child and so yes I will be doing that for you Kenneth stay tuned mate thank you all right this is Anton House just at the foot to us so halfway up Port Hill Road and uh, you know what? I've never never been in here so I'm going to go for it says so pedestrians no entry but you know what? I'm just in one of those moods. It says keep left. So there's an old stone there. I wonder what that's all about. Look. Hmm. Right. Yeah, this is for sale. This used to be the home for disabled kids, people with learning difficulties. Uh, there it is. Just up behind me there. I said this is the first time I've really been in here in all those years. Never had the courage to come in. So that's me just done that now. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Oh, I look typical. As soon as I come in here, there's a car coming in. Thank you. Honestly. <laughs> Whew, right. Now we are in Anton Drive, named after Anton House, obviously. So it's there. This goes right round the back of where I live. There's a big sort of forested hill behind me here. Now these houses, all these kind of maisonette places, uh, were built in the 60s and the ones on the other side are from the 1920s yeah so now up in these woods up here remember when that tree fell down I went out and did my report yes 
well look at it it's very steep as you can see now there's all sorts of wildlife in there i've seen foxes well i haven't seen a herd foxes owls badgers all sorts of rodents birds probably cats and dogs wander around there as well um but yeah look at how the trees are all kind of hanging over oh i've missed my turning they're all hanging over so i wouldn't fancy living down here yeah thank you all right and up we go this is uh, where i live on nursery road just up here did i tell you about nursery road no nursery road goodness me where i live is uh well was a nursery yes yeah so nursery road where i live this used to be a nursery fun enough all the way along here it was owned by the the kroll brothers yes because i remember way along at the end uh, there was a like a place a nursery bed where they sold all their stuff um yeah and the final street we're back home now is archer street and this is noted because this was the first kind of place to get your um modern amenities like hot and cold running water electric lighting indoor bathrooms so there you go folks we end on a a good note i'm knackered just ready to get some bacon rolls now nice cup of coffee i think as well and uh don't know what the rest of the day will bring that's a good thing about being out early is you can just get the rest of your day and do what you want oh thank you for watching folks have a good day.